I'm Dr. Aubrey Thompson. I'm professor of cancer biology and co-director of the Mayo Clinic Breast Cancer Translational Genomics Initiative. And it's a great pleasure for me to be here today to take this opportunity to tell you about some of the really exciting new things that are going on in the laboratory here in Mayo Clinic Jacksonville. Primarily what we do um, is called clinical translational genomics and it involves taking samples from patients and measuring a number of features that are associated with the genes and then using those features to make predictions about how those patients are going to respond to certain specific drugs. Now the really exciting thing that's come out of this and I think the thing that surprised me probably as much as anything I've encountered in my career is that we discovered early on that there's a major component that involves the way in which the tumor cells, the breast cancer cells themselves, interact with the host immune system. And so we're using this sophisticated high throughput genomic data to make predictions about the number and kinds of immune cells that are present in individual uh, patients' tumors. And what that's going to tell us about how that patient is going to respond to a particular kind of therapy or potentially how that patient may respond to a therapeutic vaccine. One of the things that's going on that's most exciting is, is this new vaccine trial that we've opened um, in which we are trying to determine the efficacy of a particular kind of vaccine against uh, a triple negative breast cancer, against basically using this to prevent recurrence of tumors in patients who've been diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer. That's a, that's a huge uh, step forward, I think, in our ability to deal with a very, very difficult kind of cancer. And it really does come out of, of this combination of understanding gene structure and function and understanding the immune system. And then ultimately, and I think most importantly, bringing those things together. So this relationship between the immune system and um, therapeutic response in breast cancer really was made very clear to us by a genomic study that we did that involved a series of about 3,500 patients from a clinical trial that was carried out using a drug called Herceptin. It's used to treat her 2 positive breast cancer. So some of those patients responded to Herceptin and, and were essentially cured, and some of them were not. And our focus, of course, is on the patients who are not cured. We want to find out what's different about them and what we can do to improve the therapy for those individuals. So we were studying those people. We were studying the genomic features that were associated with the patients who failed to respond to therapy. And what hit us in the face, literally slammed us, was the observation that the primary signal that we were getting that the real difference between the tumors that responded and the tumors that didn't respond was the composition of the immune cells in the tumor. And that for me was a, was a, a transformative observation. It literally changed the way that I personally think about breast cancer and it literally changed the way that the research is being done in my laboratory ever since. So from my standpoint, that the, the vaccine trial is very ex exciting for two reasons. One is there's not a lot that we've been able to do for um, triple negative breast cancer. And so the notion that we can use a vaccine to prevent recurrence, I, I, I think, is, is really consistent with our overall objective of reducing cancer mortality in our patients. But beyond that, there's a personal level of excitement because we, the, the target for this vaccine is the product of a gene that we had initially identified in a set of tumor samples that we were analyzing. So this is, a, this is an example of how the genomic information that we generate from Mayo Clinic patient samples can ultimately lead in a very direct way to the development of a new therapeutic option for our breast cancer patients. The challenges really are to understand how each patient is different and how each patient's immune system interacts differently with that patient's tumor, and then to design therapies that are based on that understanding. That's where the future really lies. We, we can make broad generalizations at this point, um, but we need to be more specific. We need to have more detailed information about the immune system and about the tumors themselves and about how those two things interact and how those interactions affect the therapeutic outcome. For that patient. So one thing I think is very important for me to emphasize is that when I talk about these discoveries and these very exciting new things that are going on in the laboratory, I, I'm not talking exclusively about things that we're doing in my laboratory. 
These are very collaborative projects, and it's important that, that one recognize that, that these collaborations involve individuals here at Mayo Clinic Jacksonville. For example, Dr. Keith Knudsen is the major leader in the development of this triple negative uh, breast cancer vaccine. So among the incredible resources that we have here at Mayo Clinic, in addition to our patients and our patient samples, is that we're very fortunate to have a strong group of local supporters who make philanthropic contributions to our efforts, people who are willing to invest in our efforts to find the best cures and the best treatment for breast cancer and other types of cancer as well, and ultimately to reduce the mortality due to those. And it's, it's difficult for me to emphasize in today's very, very tough funding climate how important it is for us to rely on that sort of continuity of funding.